Hey everyone, we are live tonight at Centennial Field. The rain has just started to come down, but that rain keeping nobody away here. It is the home opener for the Vermont Lake Monsters. Currently, Lake Monsters down three to two. We are headed to the top of the third. We're playing the Brockton Rocks. Brockton, two runs in the first inning. Uh, this team uh, honored Pete Wilk with a moment of silence uh, prior to first pitch. Of course, the beloved manager will be on all, all of our minds all season long. I spoke with the team this week about getting this new season underway, but we'll start with the newly named head coach, Matt Fincher, talking about Pete Wilk. I've enjoyed my three years with him here, and you know we're glad to be here and just try to carry on his legacy and, and, and do uh, the best we can in his honor. I don't think necessarily the wins matter, you know, at the beginning of the year, um, as long as the guys are getting to know each other well and they're they're building that chemistry, then the wins will come. The guys seem to love it, so and I just keep telling them, you wait till the fans start pouring in, and you're gonna love it even more. And the fans are out in numbers here tonight. I'll have the action later on tonight. And speaking of fans out in numbers, we were at another home opener earlier today. The Vermont Green FC took to Virtue Field and check out this opening clip I have right here. This was just moments before kickoff. Hundreds of fans still waiting to cheer on the green. It's a sellout. 2,500 fans and maybe more Vermonters took on the highly anticipated game between the Vermont Green, who come in 2-0, Pathfinder FC 0-1. Vermont goes on the attack right away. A shot comes from just inside the box, but it's saved. Another look from a sharp angle stays out, but that sets up a corner kick. The ball is sent into the box, and longtime Katamai Gani Bazzini touches it home. Vermont leads 1-0. Bazzini's second goal of the season, then a slew of near misses by Vermont. One after another. It seems like an invisible wall has been put in front of the goal, and the green couldn't seem to straighten out their shots either. A great setup for the head by Zach Zanga. Saved by the goalie, followed by another diving save. Pathfinder starts to pressure on a kick towards the net. The ball is nudged in. We're tied at one. A, a chance to retake the lead for the green. It's Jacob Labovitz. He can't beat the goalie. Then Jackson Castro is to die. Vermont outshoots Pathfinder 11-3, but could only finish once. It's a draw in the home opener, 1-1. You got to get the ball over the line. Like that's just the nature of the beast. The teams that do that well win. The teams that don't won't. At the end of the day, we have a responsibility to perform at a higher level than than what we did today. We want to win. We're here to give a good show to the fans and give them a big W in the end of the day. They helped us a lot to push even in the last minutes. That unfortunately we didn't score for them, but they gave us all the push in the world, and we really appreciate it. And it would not be ballpark if we did not get to have some wonderful ballpark food. I wanted to get some pizza, but the lines tonight are just ridiculous, so I had to settle for this hot dog. But this hot dog looks delicious. delicious. I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio while I enjoy this wonderful ballpark dog. Lake Monsters, Brockton Rocks, highlights coming up tonight.